What the? Oh my god. I work at a marketing agency that does digital advertising for a lot of different clients. And I know I said a lot and nothing at the same time. My agency works with a lot of different clients and I basically help set up all of the digital ads. So everything that you see on your devices, like in every single corner of your screen, all of those annoying ads that you want to skip and that urge you to buy something that you don't actually need, that is my fault. I have to say I really like that it's pretty hybrid uh, because there are days when you just can't be bothered and you want to wake up at 8.55 and just work in bed. I made chili con carne yesterday and it's one of my favorite recipes and I got it from one of my closest friends. Shout out to Charlie. I just love making this because it can make a really really big portion and just eat it for the next 3-4 days and not worry about what I have to cook. Walk. Creme fraiche, so I go with creme fraiche. Oh. <gasps> Why am I like this? This is 90% of my time back home. I just lie on the couch and watch TikToks. For my 23rd birthday, my sister got me tickets to Tom Adele's concert. He is one of my absolute favorite artists in the world and it was the second time I've seen him perform live. He also dedicated one of the songs to Ukrainians and talked about his visit to Kyiv and how much he enjoyed the city. It's far away, it's in Europe, it's on our doorstep and it's, uh, it's a city not unlike London filled with people full of dreams just like you and I are. You and I are here tonight. On Friday, my friend and I went to a sake tasting event, and the sakes displayed were not the ones we tried. It was blind tasting, so we had no idea what sake we had. And then we had to rate each sake on a scale of 1 to 5, and based on our results, we were given the final sake that was supposed to match our taste profile. I'm bad with sake though. Okay, time to rate. Number 3. It really shows on your face, yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not good with um, alcohol. This is basically how we're rating sake. Which one are you on? Seven. Seven? Yeah, but I didn't finish everything. I just try it out first because I want to confirm. Yeah. Oh, that's smart. Because I tend to forget what I drink. <laughs> yeah, same. Mm, I don't really like this one. The smell is putting me off. Okay, seven is supposed to be the lucky number. So. Do you like Cheers. with sake? Yeah, kampai. Okay. Kampai. <laughs> now, do you understand what I mean? <laughs> Can I put zero? <laughs> That's what I feel. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm not made for sake. <laughs> Number eight, so we're almost finished. <laughs> this one's very unique. I agree. It's not worse than seven though. Yeah, you sure? <laughs> yeah, for me, for me, seven is worse. Did you try nine already? Yeah, I've tried everything. Good luck. <laughs> I like this one. The last one? Yeah. It looks different though. 
I mean, it's, it's meant to be blind testing. <laughs> so we're not supposed to look. <laughs> I think the fact that I have a lot of number seven left. Yeah, I mean, that says game. something. Yeah. I just try to figure out which one is the worst. Uh, <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> Let me be honest with you, that's quite hard. Oh, I got my personality thing here already. <laughs> okay, get your results. Oh, we got the same one. Oh? Wait, is that how it works? Yeah. And now we've got the sake that apparently is supposed to match our taste. So it's pata pata flavor type? Yeah. How do you pronounce it? Pata pata. Pata pata. Yeah, pata pata is like a onomatopoeia for birds flying. How the hell do you know the word onomatopoeia? Did you have to do it in GCSE? No. Oh, you didn't do GCSE? What the hell is onomatopoeia? Onomatopoeia is like... Sound? Oh. Onomatopoeia. Yeah, like bang. So it's basically a more complicated word for the word sound. Not just sound, but like words that describe sounds. Words that sound like a like ah, bang okay, okay. or swish. Panapata describes the flavor of sharp high acidity that spreads into your mouth and never ceases to amaze you. This is really, really cool. This yeah. is a really cool experience. Cool. It's really cool. There's 12 taste personalities and Ash and I, we got the same. <laughs> that says something. For sure. Your Yumi bottle is this. Yummy. <laughs> Yumi. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you got that. Yumi, Yumi. Come by. It's nice. It kind of tastes like the wine. So they were actually. Mm. I feel like the last four. Yeah. Rabbits. I just couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah same yeah. for me. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, the last four was, was like, like uh, oh, that was so strong. So seven and nine were aged sake. And number seven is aged for five years, and nine is aged for 21 years. 21? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I feel. A bit tipsy already. Oh, so, really? You're ready. Yeah. It is Sunday morning and I decided to go bouldering. When I say that I do bouldering, I mean I go once every three, four months because I am so dead afterwards. I cannot walk, I cannot do anything, I just stay in my bed and then I say that I'm not going for another three, four months. Fun fact, when I was a kid, my nickname was a monkey. Not because of my looks, okay? But because I used to climb everywhere. Any tree, any playground, I would climb up pretty much everything. Let's see how long I would last this time. I spent two hours bouldering today and that was quite a stretch and it definitely wasn't my day. Couldn't do most of the problems, felt very very tired and the best part was finishing all of this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.